after the transaction, but it just left me feeling really bamboozled because I'm in the service industry. Letitia Duncan runs a makeup studio out of the Plaza Mall flea market. She says someone stuck her with a shady $5 bill before she could figure it out. I went across the street to a restaurant and I just took my money out to pay for it and they put a pin on it and was like, I'm sorry, we can't take this. So look at the position it put me in. And the damage could have been much worse for her neighbor who also runs a shop out of the Plaza Mall. She didn't want to be identified on camera but tells us she just encountered a fake $100 bill a couple of days ago. As soon as it turned around, I took my marker and marked it. Oh, it turns black right away. So I chased them down. To the parking lot. The business owner says the men gave her the good money back after she chased them down. Most of the recent cases in Indy have involved fake Benjamins. I said, Your money is not good, it is fake. The new $100 bill was unveiled in 2013 with new features like the color changing bell inside the inkwell and the 3D security ribbon. In addition to a sharp eye, business owners should take advantage of the counterfeit money pen, but counterfeiters should also beware. What goes around comes around, and when you're dealing in finance, you do not want to end up broke.